to my channel. So today I'm really excited to play with this a new fully matte 30 pan eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. So they released a little collection here with some new blotted lip products that I will be using at the end of this video. And also this beautiful 30 pan all matte eyeshadow palette. This is their Gone Matte Palette and I have it still in the packaging here. So I'm just gonna take it out. And as you guys can see, the whole palette itself is neutral and it is kind of like a matte encasing here so it's just really nice and appealing it also has kind of some texture to the actual palette itself so i will zoom in so you guys can see so this all matte palette is mainly pretty neutral there are a lot of cool tone mattes then you get your warm tones you have a little bit of like those purpley taupes in there you also have a few corally pinks with a little bit of that like rusty brown red to it and that's pretty much it it's a mainly neutral palette but it is super versatile because you can honestly do so many things with all of these shades so i am very excited to play around with it with for you guys and create a look using this palette and this palette alone so let's just get right into this eye look i have my eyebrows done already so first i'm going to start by priming my eyelids and to prime my eyelids i'm going to be using the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in their original formula and i'm just going to place that on my lids and blend it out with my fingertips so i will zoom you guys in so you can have a better look at my eyes I'm going to be taking this ColourPop E1 brush here. I'm going to go into this neutral light matte brown shade here called the Cuddles and I'm going to place that all in my crease. I kind of have an image for like this more 90s type of almost smoky cut crease look that's going to be all matte so I'm going to try to recreate that in my head. that shade is really buttery and there is no fallout usually I use under eye setting powder but I actually want to make sure and see how much fallout we will get with these shadows I'm really trying not to have fallout but usually I like to put some under eye setting powder to help catch any but today I am risking it a little bit now I'm going to go in with this morphe m507 brush and I'm going to go into this warm matte brown shade in the palette called the Blanky, and I'm going to place it in the crease and deepen it up. As you guys can see, I just placed that deeper brown a little bit higher up on the lid there. And now to create a little bit more of a stark cut crease, I'm not doing like a really defined cut crease, but I want it to kind of really showcase that my lid is a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is their white one in the shade Fair 00. And I'm, I'm gonna take that on with this ColourPop E25 brush here and just place a little bit of it and kind of blend it up towards the crease there just to lift up that lid space a little bit. I'm kind of just making sure that I don't have too much on each eyelid there just to make sure that we could smoke it up towards the crease and not have too harsh of a line. step there just like lifted the lid space there we still have that brown but everything is pretty blended I didn't want there to be like any harsh lines now we're gonna go in with one creamy shade from that palette 
and place it on the lid. So I'm gonna go in with this big flat brush here. This is a ColourPop E13 brush. I'm going to go into this neutral creamy shade here called Duveit. And I'm gonna place that all on the lid there and just blend that out so we have a nice matte cream lid space. So I'm just using padding motions here as you guys can see, just so everything sticks really nicely to the lid. I'm not like dragging it. And as you can see, this is a really nice neutral cream shade. And I'm gonna go in with that same Morphe M507 brush. I'm gonna take this nice matte brown, of course I keep saying matte in front of it, the whole palette is matte, but this nice brown shade here called Ultra Suede, and I'm gonna smoke that on the lower lash line. the inner corner of my eye using the shade here in the palette called Fluff Up and I'm going to be going in with that ColourPop E25 brush that we used earlier. So now I'm going to go in with the darkest shade in the palette. This is their pure black shade. And I'm going to use the ColourPop E30 angled brush here. That shade in the palette is called Roll Around and I'm gonna use it just to line the lash line and kind of smoke it out a little bit. I'm not doing any cat eyes, but I'm just gonna kind of do like a smoky liner there. I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara in their shade black. I'm gonna place that on the top and bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop on a pair of wispy lashes here. I will link the specific pair that I'm using in the description box, and then I will be right back to try out some of those new lip products from ColourPop. I just have a little bit of a lip liner and some lip chop on top of that, but I'm going to remove it so we can better see the ultra blotted lip product from ColourPop. So they actually sent me quite a few different shades. A lot of them are very neutral, matching with that collection. So I have a couple that I want to try. Of course, they're like the really lighter <laughs> neutral ones, but I have this one here, which is called on film and then this one here which seems to be a little bit lighter that one there is called super mellow so it says here on this little sheet that was sent it says that these are their new blotted lips so it is an elevated formula of the previous one because i believe that they did have a blotted lip before so this is a buildable coverage with new added ingredients like cocoa butter, shea butter, and a raspberry seed oil for a super moisturizing matte that feels incredibly comfortable. That is really nice and it says it is lightweight and long lasting and they are a sheer matte coverage for a beautiful blurred focused look. Look like this, this is the packaging of them. And they do have quite a few shades in their new collection, so you guys can check that out on their website. I think, I'm not sure if I want to mix these two, or I just want to try this lighter one first. So I'm just going to take that directly on to my lip just to show you guys how it looks. I'm probably going to do a swatch video of the other colors for you guys, so if you guys want to see a full swatch video of all of the blotted lips, then stay tuned for that. So right away I can just feel that it is super moisturizing. It literally goes on like butter, and there's like a nice wash of color. It's nothing too intense. But it just gives you like that flush of color on the lips, which I think is really pretty. Okay, guys, so that is it for my first impressions and tutorial using the new ColourPop Gone Matte eyeshadow palette, along with those blotted lips there. Like I said, I am going to be filming a full swatch video of all the ones that I have. So I just tried that one on right now for the video, and it is so pretty. 
I love the way it feels. It's moisturizing, but it has like a nice flush of color. So it's perfect for like every day if you just want to like pop something on really quickly and have like a little bit of color, some moisturization. And I just really love the formula of that. So that is definitely a new favorite of mine. And this eyeshadow palette, guys, I cannot say enough good things about it. If you guys know my tutorials, you know I always will use an under eye setting powder just to catch follow. And I did not use it for this video. I kind of <laughs> risked it a little bit, but honestly there was pretty much like no follow i really didn't have any i didn't see any i was being a little bit more careful than i usually am but it was just kind of a test to see like if they were really powdery but the ones that i've tried were not powdery so far so i love it i love this palette i just love like the whole matte neutral kind of theme to it it is just perfect it is so like wearable you can do pretty much any look imaginable with these matte shades here so let me know what kind of other looks you would like to see if you want to see some more cool tones or warm tones i kind of kept it in like the neutral category for this eye look i kind of wanted to do this like kind of like 90s and matte cut crease type of look with like the cream lid and everything so i hope you guys like this look i hope you guys like this first impressions and of course like i said please let me know what other looks you would like to see me do using this new palette so if you guys like this tutorial then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye